traffic. I'm Josh Tim. Josh, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Madison is debuting a new event to instill a sense of pride in those living on the west side. This is being set up to replace the Elver Park fireworks show that got canceled a couple of years back. Yeah, so we're talking about the first annual West Fest. It's happening this weekend at Elver Park. That's where News 3 This Morning reporter Eden Checkle is this morning with one of the organizers on what we can expect. Good morning, Eden. Hi, good morning, Adam and Danica. Yeah, so the first ever West Fest is a day to, uh, you know, celebrate Madison's West Side, but it's also a day to make up for not having a 4th of July celebration last year. And this morning, I have Tracy Hartley. She's from the city of Madison. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, so why was it important for you guys to have this replacement, and what can people expect this year? Sure, I think um, just this opportunity to bring in different organizations, groups, um, just by even coordinating the event, I've found out different music, and um, we'll have different things from, you know, um, I guess hip hop to a community sing along through a church organization. Um, so I think, and then there's other that we saw earlier, was, um, some Chinese dance, square dancing mm -hmm. that didn't know that existed in Madison. Um, and just working with, you know, partners around the area, uh, Urban League of Greater Madison, they'll be putting in, um, I guess it's the job center that's going to be across the street from Elver Park. It's not open yet, but um, they're going to be here at this event and trying to get surveys from the community and find out what people want and a nice resource for this area of Madison. Mm -hmm. And you talk about, you know, instilling a sense of pride in residents here and fostering community engagement. How exactly do you guys hope to accomplish that with West Fest? Well, I think fun brings a lot of people out, to be honest with you, and I think um, we'll do that by having the, the kids' activities. Um, but I think just in general, just even... Um, branching out to fitness, the Supreme Health and Fitness helped us out with those fitness classes in the morning. Um, and I think just building what we have around this park to bring the neighbors in. So fun for sure. And like you said, this is a great way for people to learn about all these different groups in Madison. We didn't know about the Sunshine Dance Troupe earlier, and now we didn't get to meet this group. So, hi, I have uh, one of the teachers, the preschool teachers from the Einstein School. Thanks for being here. So, tell us a little bit about this group, and we want to get them playing. So, as they're playing, okay. tell us how often you guys meet. All right. Well, this is a group of children from the Einstein School. They're aged four to seven. We meet throughout the summer have been meeting pretty much every day and practicing along with our regular preschool activities and some summer school for the kids and we'll be playing Pockle Bell or they'll be playing I should say Pockle Bell's Canon in D and Perpetual Motion. All right let's hear it. All right, so you guys get to uh, hear these kids play and the Sunshine Dance Troupe, the group that we saw earlier at West Fest on Saturday. And that event goes on from 7 in the morning until 7 p.m. And there is a full list of all the things that they have going on. I mean, food, games, a ton of activities, a resource uh, center, a so job fair, everything. So for more details, go to cityofmadison.com. But Adam and Danica, aren't these kids so cute? I can't get over like the little tuxedos and dresses. They're just so adorable. And focused, like and Adam was saying. And they're doing wonderful. Uh -huh. That's a wonderful version. <laughs> and very talented. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Eden. Yes. Appreciate it. So I, I do think that outside of the monkey riding on the cat's back, that's that, those kids are my cutest. favorite. Yeah, that's the favorite part of the show so far this morning.